Good evening, it's JT Walters. Um, it's been a very, very, very long time since we have uh, done a painting together. And the reason that is, is because I actually had an accident and tripped and broke my leg. But, and I spent three weeks in the hospital. And incredibly enough, the uh, administrator of the hospital is a fluid artist. So that's, you know, fluid art seems to touch everybody in the world. So it's really um, awesome. We had a lot of had a lot of painful days and a lot of great conversations about how much fluid art really contributes to um, my healing process. So we're going to start. We're doing a dirty cup pour. I got the coconut oil that I had talked to you about getting beforehand that I just didn't get around to getting. Um, by the way, it works great in the hair too, just if you ever are curious for that. I'm gonna start with some white at the bottom. And um, I'm just gonna go, I really don't even care how I go at this point. I'm gonna go with some Katie and, and then I'm gonna go yellow. And then gold. Really, really like the gold. The purple's pretty. Oh no, my purple is giving me a bad time. I can uh, unclog the top. When your paint sit around for, gosh, I think I broke my. I know I broke my foot on. I broke my foot on September. I mean, I'm sorry, not September, on April 30th, and it's been a long walk back, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this as I go. This is magenta, and then I'm going to put a couple squirts of this stuff. Oh, let me get it in the cup. Okay, um, then I'm going to go with... Magenta. I really like like the red. The red through here. I put purple already, so I don't know why I'm adding extra red and blue, but I am. So I'm certain that this will be. Um, this blue is called um, a panthe. You guys will know it's pantheocyanide, pantheocyanide blue, whatever. Um, anyways, I like that color blue a lot. I go with more red. Now, I don't want black to take this over, this painting over, especially because I have yellow in here. So I'm going to try and be judicious with the black. I'm going to put more gold in there. These are just, when I remixed some of the paints, I had extra left in the cup. So these are just extras. I went to um, it, I went to a funeral today. It was really a beautiful ceremony um, about how people will perceive you and what people will say about you when you're gone, and you know the hats that we wear and how pe you know how the message can be, get mixed because we wear so many hats. I mean, you guys see me as a painter. Other people see me as another person. Um, I, I have a book club too. I just finished another novel last night. It's my fourth. I really got to find a publisher to get. Let me see. Acadian. I'm going to get with this. I'm going to do a little of that. Um, so, really, people's. It, it's funny because when I heard the eulogy it really touched my heart thinking gosh 
you know, how do people see me? Especially, you know, ugh, that's stuck, which isn't unexpected given the amount of time this paint has sat around. Um, given how many hats I wear. So I just thought that's interesting, an interesting perspective. What's, what's our message if we wear so many hats? You know, is it that we're Christian? Is it that we're um, business people? Is it that we're artists? Is it, what, 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 what are we saying? And so um, that was, to me, a very interesting look at life or even death. Ugh, gosh, I know that clump's coming out. I'm gonna have to pick that puppy out. There's a few clumps in here. No more black. Some more white. See some pretty things going on in the cup, if you can see it. There's some Cadian. really don't want to make orange, so I'm trying to keep the red out of the yellow. Got some more gold. Two more white. Okay, that's the last of that purple, which is okay. I don't mind that that purple is gone because like I said some of this paint is really old and really needs to be I mean it's really clumpy and I'm gonna end up having to pick out chunks of it which is gonna bother me when I fish around in it because I don't want to stir too much Oh my gosh, the cells are so beautiful in here. And if I stir, I'm just gonna screw that up. And I'm so worried about that. I know you guys can't see, but trust me, the cells are looking awesome. And this is a 16 by 20 canvas. It's uh, not a huge canvas. And the reason, and I've taped it off. You can see I've taped it off here. I'm going to do a border. I don't know why I'm doing a border. I, this looks like it's going to turn out really pretty, but I'm doing a border anyways, just in case. So, um, gosh, I think I'm going to finish this off with... And then white around the top of it. And I really should have my gloves on. I forgot. It's been a while, guys. I haven't painted in a bit. Remember, the higher you hold the bottle, the deeper the drops go. Okay. So, I am prepared for this to be a really big mess. Let me get my gloves on. Wipe off my palette knife. I'm going to cry when that clump comes out. I know I'm going to. Hopefully it will not come out too, ow, too bad of a mess. We're going to try, this is a dirty cup, but I'm also going to try doing the ribbon in here. I don't know how that's going to work or turn out, so we'll just see. We'll just play it by ear. Like I said, every single painting I do with you guys is an experiment, so we're not going to get overly ambitious and say anything's going to turn out well we're just going to say we're going to do an experiment okay so we've got the cup we're going to flip it onto the canvas we're going to leave the canvas there 
Okay. Now we got to give it a bit. Normally in this process, um, I would have let the paint sit in the cup for a bit, but I didn't this time. So it didn't happen. Is that going to be a bad thing or a good thing or again no one knows until it's it's over how the painting turns out I mean that's just the nature of fluid art I mean really part of fluid art is just having the ability to let go and just let the painting become whatever it's going to become which is you know huge I, I don't think a lot of people have the ability to let go. I know that it's a challenge for me when I'm creating to be able to let go and create something in, that I'm not in control of. I mean, I'm in control of the color palette, but that's about it. So um, I think it's probably a really good thing and a healthy thing to kind of surrender yourself to the nature of fluid art which means you're not in control of what you you paint. And that's, I think, probably one of the best things that you can say about blue art is that it teaches you that you're, that you're not in control of things. Okay, I'm making an extra purple on the side that I'm gonna use for the ribbon. I wasn't really sure what color I was gonna do, and finally, in the last minute, I decided purple, so. There's enough in here, because I'm out of purple anyway, so. And this is actually the color shift purple, so it's got a, like a metallic tint. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so. I'm guessing that this is like getting close to being ready to come up. I'm going to just go ahead and pull it off. One, two. Let go, let go, let go, let go. See, it's holding on. See how pretty that is? And so... One of the things that I was, why I wanted to try the coconut oil here is that the coconut oil is supposed to have really much better, or the coconut oil here stuff, dimethicone, really much better cells. And so, um, and so far right now, from what I can see, it looks like that may be true. So I'm gonna kinda get some of these cells to come up, and then I'm gonna stretch it and see what we have. Because I need to go this way. And when I talk to people about tilting, my answer to tilting is always tilt very, very, very slow. I know it's like arduous for you guys to watch it being tilted so slow and you want to see that really sped up film of the super tilt where, you know, the person tilts and in, in 20 seconds everything is covered. But if I do that to you, then you're going to have an unrealistic expectation when you get to the canvas as to what um, as to what how you should you know paint your painting or how you should manage your cells. Now, see, because of the dimethicone, I think the dimethicone probably is going to be the winner here on what actually works best. 
and guys, I was a three in one person. I mean, I used three in one forever and I used um, Rain-X and PVA and I mean, I tried it all and the hair, that coconut hair oil, it looks like it's really going to be probably the best deal for the amount of money. I mean, it's $7 for that whole bottle. And I really don't want to lose my cells, but such is life. I mean, you tip and you tilt and you lose cells and you get other cells and you're just not really in control of what's going on. It's kind of like the world and you got to kind of go with it or at least learn to go with it. Oh my gosh. And I see that huge clump right there. See that huge clump right here? Oh, that is Floetrell that just messed up my painting. Oh, I'm angry at you, Floetrell. That's a clump of Floetrell. Let's see if we can fix it, guys. So let's follow it down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So anyways, my paintings, um, I've been doing a lot more abstract um, that are not fluid art, which is um, different for me. And a lot of my paintings have, or, and have ended up in people's, like the painting that I, um, one of the paintings that I was working, actually two of the paintings I was working up ended at my uh, orthopedic surgeon's office. And I named them um, In Study, um, broken tibia and broken fibula and we had a, a really big laugh over that he just my surgeon just thought that was hysterical my surgeon is like the best doctor in the whole wide world he's an army doc that was retired and could have gotten out as soon as the war broke out and instead he just re-signed up and re-enlisted and was he went did two tours in afghanistan and two tours in iraq and I mean, what a great American hero. I mean, you just can't say enough great about him. And so, um, that guy, no matter what, I didn't give that guy a problem at all. I mean, that guy was like the best. So I was like so grateful to have him as my surgeon. And he really did do an awesome job. It's, they said it's gonna take about, I don't know, three to six months to heal which stinks, but you know, the answer is, is I'm going to heal. See, and I really don't like, I don't like that up there so much. I think that kind of is disgusting and I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to tilt it off. I'm going to tilt this this way. And so one of my friends, she's like so awesome. And her son was in Afghanistan and I guess he was like low ranking, like just like a private or something. And his entire unit got hit. And this kid got in the driver's seat and drove his entire unit home, saved his commanding officer, saved everybody. And um, so <laughs> after that, they sent him to ranger school. And I'm like, that's not much of a reward having to go to special forces school um, after saving your entire unit. Well, he thought it was a great reward. So he ended up going to ranger school and spending, I, I guess, the majority of the last six months down in the Everglades training. And now he's living over in Europe and she's going to go visit him. And so I... I have to, I don't have to, I want to, I'm going to 
help her learn some European languages and teach her how to move logistically in Europe. So that'll be fun. And so tomorrow night I get to do that. So, I mean, so many exciting things going on in little old JT's life. Okay, so let me just drip that off. Okay. So yeah, it's, we got a lot of cells. We got a lot going on here. Big cells. I mean, let me put this down so you guys can see it. Grab this. Take this away. Huge cells, guys. See how big those cells are? I would say they met the cone is the winner for cell creation. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of this, which I should have done this earlier. And I'm gonna ribbon it. That means you just basically create a ribbon. Around here. So you just basically are Okay, I think that's all I'm going to really do. Let's see if I can tilt it any further. Oh, I may have ruined my own painting with, with the ribbons. Could be. I've got to cry over it, but I can pour the ribbons off too. See, so watch this, guys. You're going to be amazed. It's going to go right off that ribbon. Here's the thing my philosophy is if you don't like what you've done, pour it off. You don't paint. I put enough paint on this canvas that if I don't like it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep turning it and twisting it until everything I don't like is gone. Okay. So now you're like, wow, but she's got all that ribbon in there, which is true, I do, but that's going to. What I am going to try and do, I'm dripping a lot over here, Ugh. is I am going to try, if I don't like it anyways, I re-pour over it. You guys know that already about me. So I took a really great painting that was doing really, really well, and I screwed it up with a ribbon. And I made it too dark. See, I've got kind of a mud effect going on down here. Again, too much paint is dripping. And now I can't even see what I'm doing. Now it's just like a matter of faith. So go. Okay. So, that's where we're leaving this. I know it's been a long video. It's been a long time since I've done a video. So I appreciate everybody watching. This is a dirty cup pour. I did okay. Um, I wanted to try the dimethicone, which is this coconut oil, right? 
coconut hair oil. It's, yeah, coconut oil for your hair, which by the way, really is nice for your hair too. Um, and it does make much bigger cells, so I do want to report that. Um, I don't think I needed to go with the ribbon. I think I, I did it. I over muddled and I probably ruined this painting and I probably will have to re-pour over it because it's, it's uh, too dark now. But the whole point was just to show you that A, the dimethicone did work and that B, um, how to do the ribbon, which was basically you just take a little cap and you roll it. I mean, you squeeze the cap and you pour the ribbon with this little itty bitty cap full of, you know, you, it's, you can use a syrup cap to do it. Um, but I would only do it on paintings that really needed something in addition to. This painting was really doing quite well until I hit it with the, um, until I got at it with the ribbon. So this is JT Walters, Indian County fluid artist. Not my best painting, probably will paint over it, but thank you for watching and I hope you have a really awesome day. Take care.